All right. We need to have a conversation about the indoor, you know, the indoor arena football landscape. Yeah, that's right. Everything. Everybody. Let's start with the IFL. Now, the IFL owners' meetings concluded last week, and there has been some rumors that the season could be pushed back to May. Who knows about fans in the stands for each and every league, but I'm, I'm highly doubting that there will be fans. I'm highly doubting that, and that is a killer to indoor football. That is the number one killer of indoor football. If you have no butts in the seats, you won't last very long. So um, that's looking pretty interesting there, as far as the IFL goes. Uh, and, and, and speaking of that mid-May start, they may have to push back the number of games to 14 instead as well, which again provides a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, I don't know how the schedule will work like that, but that's just the rumor right now. I don't see anything confirming this. Let's go to the NAL. We have not heard anything from the Ontario Bandits since January 10th on the NAL podcast. Yes, there's an NAL podcast. Why? I don't know. Presumably another way for the NAL to get, you know, a couple more of those desperate bucks in. because so They've done about 17 of these as of the time of this recording. But, you know, Ontario hasn't signed a quarterback. I don't think they have a head coach yet. We did see their president on January the 10th on the NAL podcast. I'm, I'm not going to leak that. If you subscribe to the National Arena League, you should know when that podcast was. But there's no quarterback for Ontario. There's hardly any way for Ontario to be able to go you know, to these other teams in the league, which, I mean, it was a GI. We, we complained about this play of time, but I'm going complain about it again. Ontario should not be in the NAL. This is not an NAL team. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why. It, it, apparently, rumors have circulated that they were rejected by the IFL, which totally makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense for the IFL to reject them. Because of stuff like this, you know, there there's no quarterback being signed. I don't think there's has there even been any defensive players being signed because Columbus is signing guys, Jacksonville signing guys, Jersey signing guys, Orlando signed some guys. Albany really hasn't done anything as far as I know, unless they're bringing back the old Albany from 2019 that won it all in the Arena Bowl. I'm not sure what Albany's doing right now, but Ontario is more of a concern because of the geography that happens to go with it. As far as the AAL goes, I'm going to talk about CIF and the WFC last. Um, the Joke League. The Jokesters. Now, the Allen Tiger Cats. Gone. Texas Takeover. What in the world is the Texas Takeover? I don't know where they are. They're supposedly in Bedford, Texas. Now, if you know where Bedford is, uh, it's a small town. Somewhere, I forgot where it is. But, uh, Texas Takeover. It's, 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 uh, it's that rinse and repeat cycle. So, we are five years in into the AAL, and we're doing the exact same stuff. Five years in, the exact same stuff. Rinse and repeat. Travel team, Austin. Some schedules have been released and stuff like that. Some have not been. We don't know. You know, who's getting signed, who's not getting signed, and the AAL is like, oh, well, we'll release the schedule we can, we'll, we'll let y'all know what we can. That's probably not going to be for a while either, I'm not even going to lie, because I know they've been on some podcasts and stuff too, you know, um, the owners and stuff like that, they've been on some podcasts too. DAWFC, how about them, you know, before we talk about the CIF, um, they released their schedule, you know, again, we, we discussed that there's five teams in the league now. They've released their schedule. Um, yeah, that's about it. And the CIF is last but not least because the Sioux City Bandits have a new owner. And I wonder how that will go when they have a new owner. And uh, what, is, what is his name? Like R.C. Bond or something like that? I don't forgot his name. But, um, because it, it, his name sounds stupid. I'm not going to lie. But... CIF, things are looking kind of quiet out there, of course, you know, 
had to redo the schedule, you know, all the way back when, and um, CIF has its own litany of problems. You know, because we really haven't heard anything um, aside. The uh, last few things I've seen from the CIF is Selena, or out of Selena, you know, they're training guys and getting them workouts and stuff like that. That's about it. That's about it from the CIF. So, what what do we do now? What what you know? What what are we waiting for? What are we anticipating? Idiot or football circle. One for me, at least, is that there should be a season for any of the leagues. First off, Corona. Yeah, we have a vaccine. We have a vaccine for Corona now. Yeah, we could you know do you know like fifteen percent fans and stuff like that. But that's not going to make anybody any money. That's just going to be you know, everybody's going to be in the red. Everybody. Not just your money makers like Jacksonville and Arizona. Everybody. Everybody's in the red. Um, second thing is, is that there are, you know, there are some questionable expansion. There were some questionable things that we've seen in the offseason anyway, as far as expansion goes. IFL should not have expand should not have expanded to the way they are right now. You know, twelve teams active, five teams inactive. Right now, you should be at a solid eight to ten, not seventeen. You know, NAL same thing should be at six right now, really, but instead, you know, we we have seven and one team in our hiatus. CIF did the exact same thing. West Texas, where they, you know, West Texas and then Wyoming, probably should have just stuck with the with the core six after, you know, the Texas Revolution folded. Should have stuck with the core six for 2020, 2021, and maybe 2022. And that would have been fine. That would have totally been fine. But no, we had to do odd numbers of teams expansions to places that do not fit our geography. The AAL and the AWFC are a whole different, you know, breeds of expansion. AWFC makes a lot of sense. AAL trying to focus on Texas when really there when really, you know, indoor football just doesn't fit Texas. I mean, come on. It just doesn't. It just doesn't fit. To be completely honest, if maybe if Frisco were to get off the ground in 2020, I'd say yeah. But indoor football, every time it comes to Texas, it fails miserably. So, you know, that that that's all I've got to say. 2021, everybody. 2021. So with that being said. When you see this video, it will be Tuesday. This video was recorded on Monday. And if you are new around here, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Click the notification bell so you can get more notifications about videos that are premiering and stuff like that. So, with that being said, everybody, I will see you probably Wednesday or Thursday for Super Bowl stuff. Super Bowl 55. Y'all take care.